purpose. What is the research trying to achieve? Why is this a good thing? That is the significance of the research. Uh, does this come out of the research problem? Where does this fit in? So it's, the, it's the, still the big thing. The research problem, on the other hand, has to be written as a problem. Please don't write the research problem and then put a question mark at the end and it's a question. Why do you do that? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. The research question has a question mark and the research problem doesn't have a question mark. That's basically how you distinguish between the two. <laughs> so I would see the research problem and then I get a question there. Ah, uh -uh, do that. So the research problem will identify this as a problem, which will be some gap in the literature. That's normally how you know this is a research problem. So that helps you to find an answer for a problem. So the whole technique would then be to get to an answer for that. But I don't believe you always have a research problem. You could ask a question or you can make a statement, but you've got to have one of the three in order to help you. So here's the research question. This has to be phrased in such a way that you can answer this. There are lots of beautiful research questions out there, but are they the real questions for you to answer? Or should you rephrase them given the extent of time and other resources that you have available?